class. This is a, um, a video to teach you a little bit more about probability. So what you're going to do is get a sheet of paper and then just fold it in half like a hamburger. Okay. And we are going to make a little thing of notes real quick. So up at the top, write your name, of course, and write today's date. And we are going to write a couple of things down about probability. So the first thing is what probability is. So probability is the chance that an event will happen. So chance also means likelihood of an event happening. And in math, we write it as P, parenthesis, event. So whatever the event is, whether it is rolling a dice, um, picking a card from a deck of cards, um, picking a marble out of a jar, um, M&Ms out of a bag, certain color, so probability of red. So we would write that as a fraction. Your fraction will be a number on top and a number on bottom. The first one is desired outcome. So desired outcome, if I was supposed to say probability that you would get a red M&M, then you'd say, well, how many red M&Ms are there? And then you'd put it over total number of outcomes or total number of M&Ms. So total possible outcomes. Okay, and outcomes is also called sample space. So we're going to, go to write that. Outcomes is the same as our sample space. So in our sample, what are all the outcomes listed together? That's also called the sample space. Okay, so whenever you are finding the probability, the first thing you do, first, write the fraction, just like above, then divide, top in, bottom out, typo, to change to a decimal. Okay. So um, probability is a fraction and then you convert it to a decimal. We can also write it as a percent, but we are going to look at it as a decimal. So we are going to write a number line. This is the last thing on this. The number line, but our number line is always is just going to go from zero to one. So in between would be zero point five. Okay, so what we are looking at is whenever you do your probability of the event, then you convert it to a decimal. Well, the decimals won't be over one because you can't have more desired outcomes than total. And it can't be lower than zero, so it's in between here. So if it is a zero, then it is no chance at all. So that's a sad face. No chance. So if your probability is zero, there's no chance at all. If your probability is 0 0.5, that's kind of... 50-50, you know, it may happen or it may not happen. So let's put that may or may not happen. It's split right in half. So that's kind of your face that's like a straight face. Now if it's a one, it absolutely will happen. The probability is very good. So will happen. 
So that is a happy face. So in between 0 and 0 0.5 is not very likely, so it's less likely. So likely means it will or will not happen. Um, so less likely, it's not as likely to happen. But between 0 0.5 and 1, it is most likely. So once you find the probability, then you can put it on this number line between 0 and 1 and say, okay, is it less likely? or most likely. That's how we're looking at probability. Okay, so let's look, open up the paper. Now on the top part, we are going to write a couple of things. Simple event, compound event. So simple event. So a t simple event is like one thing happening, one outcome, oh, or one event happening, one experiment. So Toss a coin is an example. So that's just one event. Or picking a marble out of the jar. One event. Compound event is whenever you have two things, two or more things happening. So an example would be toss a coin and roll a dice. Roll a die. So die is one. Roll five, die. I think roll a die. It's dice. I always get confused on die or dice. Okay. We are also going to write theoretical probability. Theoretical probability is what should happen. Think about theory. Theory is, in theory, this should happen. But it's not always going to happen. So theoretical is what should happen if we do that certain event, whether it's toss a coin um, or roll a dice, whatever it is. So we do P of the event. So this is how we write probability. Probability of whatever event it is equals number of ways event can happen over total possible outcomes. So an example would be, let's say, probability of rolling or uh, throwing the coin and getting a heads. Probability of heads. Well, on a coin, there's only one heads. There's only two outcomes, either heads or tails. So it's a one out of two. Okay. Another example is whenever you have a spinner. I know y'all have seen one of these before. A spinner, you have a little arrow that's going to, you're going to flick it, and it's going to spin around. So let's say probability of one, two, three, and four. So there's a spinner. So let's write the different kinds of probability we have. Probability of getting a 1. So how many 1's are there on this spinner? There's 1. How many total outcomes are there? Well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4 sections. So it's a 1 out of 4. So that's a um, fraction. And we can also change this to a decimal. Well, this is easy, right? 1 out of 4 is 0.25. Let's say probability of a 2. Well, probability of a 2 is also 1 out of 4. 
which is 0 0.25. Let's change it up. Let's do probability of even. So remember even would be 2 and 4. So what's the probability of getting a 2 and a 4, or 2 or 4, would be 2. Two outcomes are even out of 4 total. So that's 2 out of 4 is 1 half which equals 0 0.50. Okay, so this is, it, theoret this is all theoretical probability. Okay. The next example is experimental. Or the other type of probability. So we have theoretical probability. What should happen? Experimental is what actually happens. Okay, so usually you'll do some kind of chart to tally how many times that event has occurred and then you can do probability of event equals number of times event happens over total number of trials. So if you compare these, this is theoretical. Number of ways event can happen over total possible outcomes. Experimental is number of times event happens, so you're actually rolling the dice or uh, drawing from a jar of marbles over total trials. So that's how many times did you do the experiment? How many times did you roll the dice? So that's what experimental probability is. Okay, so that is it for these notes. So go ahead and glue them in your journal, and this just gives you a little bit more information about probability.